What's up guys, not the winner here. We'll be checking out the Doom Trek in just a moment. I just want to knock out any battles that remain over here for the moment. Because I think Doom Trek is straight to the boss. Hey, that's rough. This guy's getting some damage in. And that's why we didn't go immediately to the Doom Trek as well. We wanted to get a fair idea of how tough these enemies were going to be around here. Nat 20, let's go. Not bad at all. I mean, guys, we're kind of clearing through these enemies right now. I don't know if you guys have better builds out there. Let me know in the comments down below. Or if there's a build that you'd like me to try, of course, always feel free to let me know. I'm probably going to be trying out all sorts of stuff in this game. enemy for the zone. Nice and easy too, only level 6. Quick one shot. <laughs> See how tough they made the GCs. An old sea shanty plays, okay. Gatton Sea Bill. Let the get you force. Let's see what excessive stats. So he's basically got my charisma but in his strength, but then he's got vitality attack and defense pretty boosted too. He's got a 927 power score. I think I'm at like what, like 300 was it? Yeah, 388. Ooh, that's, uh, that's not gonna go well. Okay. He's still about beatable with shouts. He was still very powerful, so the higher armor I have, the higher hit points, the better. Basically saying they let me fight him too soon, and they didn't need to do that. Yeah, instead of the dungeon, I might go to the Gallows Stones. And head towards Clerk next. I'm cool with that. We gotta learn the map. We gotta explore it a little bit more. I'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff is randomized, but like the map, I'm pretty sure will be very similar. Um, let's go on an adventure. Sure. Do I die? Okay, so I can either gain one intellect or lose a vitality? Or both? Okay, it's both. Okay. Boo! <laughs> we definitely did not want that. Looks like we got our last body here. Ooh. 
What do you have at the tavern? Okay, so when you're in dungeons, you need food. So let me buy it now. I'm gonna refresh the shop and not be able to let me buy it. Alright, fire luck against the level 14 Joshua. Oh, nice. His jump back saves me. Immune to lightning, guys. And final one right here. I would like to start increasing my crit chance, though. We're getting to that point, for sure. Are getting tough to choose. And we now have a steed. It's huge. Thankfully, these tree guys aren't immune to all Sonic, just to shouts. But the bugs being fully immune to Sonic is something that is going to hurt a lot. This, especially when we run into our first boss like that, we won't be able to do anything. What stats am I going to need to beat that boss? And the 11 bosses after him. Hmm. I'm definitely going to need more health. That's for sure. Charisma to shout harder is always going to be useful until we run into bugs. Because even Undead's not Sonic immune, they're immune to shouts, so... Like, something like this should work. Yeah. That was foolish. <laughs> like, give me all the distance. That's the whole point of my build, to be as far away from everyone as possible. Prepare to fight. 
So once we break the shield, the rest of the armor goes very quickly. I take half damage now, so I basically won the fight. So that's all his armor. Guaranteed finish. All their armor. Sorry, guys. I'll take him on. It's not the same Doom Trek champion, it's its own champion, I believe. Joni the Hammer. She's a priest with very high attack. So her power score is much higher than mine, guys. Twenty-five percent increased damage, or a defend chance, and all goes to shield instead. Only eighty-two on the power cord. Despite how it looked, this is actually going better than I, I, I thought it would. Big finish. There we go. Quick burp. Close it out. Look at all that XP and money. Point in defense and a huge chunk of gold. Let's see how that goes. Definitely be trying to take on the dungeon soon. Let's try and catch something. Oh, that's gonna hurt. But yeah, we have that horse now, which makes life a little bit easier. Alright, gotta say left is the way to go. What do we have at the Weaponsmith? Finally a new guitar. Level 15 Sonic. It looks like the exact same stats. Maybe it'll increase how much Sonic damage it does. Let's find out. Not even a high enough level. Okay. has a very low ignore chance on this. It's surprising he pulled that off. There's almost all his armor is gone. He ignored, she ignored another. Alright, last chance. Meaty bird. So, almost lost that. Enemies are definitely going to be tough over here, but I should get a lot more XP. With 266 days left, we need more XP, guys. That's kind of where we're at. XP, XP, XP. But the fact that we're only, like, 35 days in means that in my opinion we're making great progress like level wise gear wise skills 
Like, we're in the right place for everything. Stop ignoring me. <laughs> Big finish. Nice. They ignored that I was screwed. We'll probably end up adding like one to two levels more into mana now that it's getting to the point where I'm just running out and still barely clearing. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to die in two turns. I was like, uh... <laughs> Felt like I was cursed like the witch in Among Us. Or cursing people, right? Oh, trivial. There's zero chance that I beat the champion here right now. Personal opinion. Probably gonna have to do two to three cycles here. By then my gear should be up though. Species special. New skills coming soon. That's that's so cool how much we see is already in production and on the way. Because we saw the crafting, we saw the other systems. Obviously there's gonna be a PvP system being added to the game. Like guys, Swords and Sandals is one of those games that you may remember playing as a kid. You may have started it when it was already on Steam. But it's definitely one of those games where this dev, he cares about making a good game. He wants to make sure that this is something quality. And, you know, he didn't even jack up the price tag that high. Under 20 bucks in the U.S., you know, I'm not sure exactly what it was in every single country. Um, but, you know, under 20 bucks in the U.S. is a pretty reasonable price for a game. Uh, especially one where, like, he's clearly going to continue working on it and providing us a quality game. <laughs> If you're a big fan of the Swords and uh, Swords and Sandals games, I do plan on playing them a lot over this next week to two weeks. Um, maybe even for the next month to two months. I don't know. But what I do know is that I very much enjoy this game, and I'm going to be playing a lot of it. So if you like it, make sure you subscribe. Hmm. And we are 35 days in. Kind of huge. We gained a couple stars overnight. We got about 10k gold. We'll probably be spending that on armor very soon. Uh, a ton of these stars. Let's see what we can get in training. Let's see. Learn skill. We have wallet level 18. 96 of the enemy's essence over to me. That feels really good. A whale, not wall. Uh, definitely snag that. I don't really need this one. Provoke seems a bit more useful. Scare the enemy for three turns or confuse the enemy for three turns. Both sound very ideal. We'll snag the solo. Make sure he knows all the guitar skills. But yeah, guys, if you're enjoying this series so far, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, get ready to check out the next episode soon. Thanks for watching.